Hey, welcome back. Got a true bonus video for you today. Uh, had some fun this morning. Uh, we'll give a, sh uh, a couple of shout outs here, but um, I'm not going to be reviewing a bourbon today because as I stated before, I like beer. Uh, so in spirit of what just occurred earlier, I'm going to review a beer. All right, uh, look, uh, you know, bourbon, beer, it's, you know, lo love them both. Uh, and, and not just bourbon, I, I, I do drink whiskeys and uh, uh, some, some scotch here and there. Uh, but my, my primary passion is, is bourbon, but I do love a good beer. Uh, what I have here is, uh, th now this is just the one I had on hand. And the guys made me thirsty earlier uh, from 21090 Brewing. Uh, and I'm going to put a description uh, or put a link uh, in the description below to their channel. Please go subscribe to those guys. They're hilarious. Uh, and and uh, they have real good content. But uh, he was live streaming this morning and I was following along on that and it just made me thirsty. So I'm going to drink a beer because it's my day off. Uh, this is uh, called Sexual Chocolate. It's an imperial stout and this is Foothills Brewing. And I know that I, I, I tagged these videos as being in North Carolina. I'm actually in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And that is where Foothills Brewing is located. So we get these in every store around here. Um, this, again, is an Imperial Stout. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, unlike bourbon, you can, I'm not going to, one, I'm not going to pour you one. Uh, but I'm also gonna pour a lot in this glass. Now this uh, is uh, by bourbon standards, not very high. <laughs> it's 9.6 alcohol by volume, which means I can enjoy uh, a, a ton more of it uh, than the bourbon. Uh, but uh, I'm still gonna nose this thing because that's what I do. Definitely, uh, I'm getting some chocolate hints off of it, but uh, you know, beer is not gonna give up the ghost in fumes like bourbon does. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting some uh, very, uh, very, very good aroma off that. Uh, toasty, uh, smells like it's gonna taste a little dark. Um, well, of course, it is black, but uh, if I were blindfolded, I would say the same thing. Let's put it that way. I don't have to let this air out. Mm. Wow. That is creamy, but it has some, uh, a little bit of bitter to it, but then the sweetness kind of levels it out. There's a lot of complexity in beer. Uh, I know we, we like to harp on bourbon and all, but man, this stuff is chocolatey good. Um, much different, uh, flavor profile than you're going to get off of bourbon. Uh, but I do, and I have had bourbon and I know I did a, a video about bourbon County, which is a, uh, a beer aged in bourbon barrels. So, um, I do have a bottle of that and I'm, I'm aging it because it says it continues to develop up to five years in the bottle. You can go back and see that video on there, but I, I do enjoy a good beer. When I turn this up, I can see the edge of the beer in the bottom of the glass. And you can see this clear, like very pale colored rim. Of course, when you're looking at it through, it just looks black and it's hard to see even at the bottom of this glass. But if you can get it turned just right where the light's coming in, I can see an amber like, you know, if, if there was a thin layer of this, I can almost see the true color, put it that way, of the beer. And it does not taste nearly as dark as it looks. I'll, I'll put it that way. I do love that coffee flavor, though. I'm getting 
It's almost like if you eat a chocolate covered coffee bean, like a roasted coffee bean, uh, and you get that bitter, but there's that sweet along with it. This, it, it, it just brings that flavor straight out. Um, and it's very smooth and very good. And this bottle is extremely cold because I've had it in that fridge and I call that my beer fridge and I keep it down low enough where uh, it is incredibly cold, but it won't freeze uh, uh, even if I leave the bottles in there too long. So, I, you know, I don't want icy beer, but I do adjust that temperature on that refrigerator over there to, to be very cold um, without freezing. Yeah, it reminds me, uh, well, I got hooked on it. There was a, a bar when I lived in Texas and it was, uh, I think they called it the 29 degree pub or something like that. And, you know, they had their, their, um, uh, beer behind the wall and the, uh, you know, the taps and all, but they ran it through a coil and it was supposed to come out of that tap at 29 degrees. So they would flash it through there and they would, and they couldn't even, they couldn't use frozen glass like you know how the some bars will do the glass and they'll put it in the freezer and they'll bring you a frosty mug out if they did that it would freeze solid just bam as soon as it hit so they had to use like a room temperature glass and run that beer in at 29 degrees and then set it in front of you which immediately started warming but if you hurried with your first hit it was probably between 29 and 30 degrees on that first sip Mm. Wow. Watching that video, watching him drink that beer on that video was making me thirsty. And this is it's really good. Um, so I'm going to put a description again. Like I was watching a live stream. I can't do that. I'm set up for VR 180. These videos, I have to process them. YouTube would not uh, show it without the metadata being there and then being able to have hours to process to, to post. So I don't have a camera really to live stream from, but I do enjoy live streams. So hit me up in the comments if you have a channel. If you're going to be uh, live streaming, uh, shoot me a, a note. Um, at, let me know ahead of time. I just stumbled onto that today, and it was really, really fun. It's so awesome to get to meet other, even just virtually, other contributors who are live right there. Uh, on this stream and we can chat back and forth and give ideas to each other. It was just, it was, it was a great experience for me. Um, especially since I, I've, I've watched a couple of live streams, but I didn't know like anything about the content. I wasn't involved in any type of, of content around anything that they were doing. Uh, so I didn't feel connected to it, but this one, I actually felt like, you know, we had something in common here and, and it was really, really fun. So again, I'm going to put a, a link to their channel down below. Please uh, go subscribe to them uh, and, and uh, watch that, that live stream and read that chat because it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. All right, and I'm going to sign off and I'm going to finish this beer. And please subscribe and I will see you next time.